All right, Anthony, 125 pounds. What do you expect from Lee and Mueller? A lot of attacking. Spencer Lee likes to tie up. He goes for his shots constantly. Throughout this tournament, Spencer has been attacking in that first period, looking for those takedowns. Jack Mueller as well. He's so aggressive. You see right there that low-level shot. He's always going to go at it this first period. First strike, so important right here. First takedown, really big. Both wrestlers want to get on top. They're different on top, but that's where their strength is. Difficult paths both for them to reach this match. Nice job by Lee there. Got in. Really nice job by uh, Mueller keeping Lee from uh, being able to return him to the mat. Mueller likes. Okay, right here, Lee tries to get on top as soon as he can and go to work on the arm bars and kills. It's a terrific job there by Lee keeping his hips high. Mueller was trying to create a little scramble situation there. Lee stayed high, was able to step over, award the two points. Way to scramble through that situation. As Lee worked his way to the finals and the quarterfinals, came Sean Russell of Minnesota and earned his revenge against Nick Piccinini in the semis of Oklahoma State, an 11-4 win against the Cowboy who had pinned him last month. Spencer Lee impressed me as much as any freshman ever winning the NCAAs last year. Two freshmen came out here coming off an injury and uh, surgery on ACL, and he goes through the... Uh, uh, the field last year like nothing and he's so classy so dominant on top he's always fishing for that uh, cross wrist and looking for the tilts arm bars so tough on top see Lee putting the pressure he's driving forward working that head lever hammer lock he was having a tough time getting his base underneath him he's got to bring those knees up but Spencer just keeps pushing forward forward putting that weight on those hands so confident on top as well, Spencer Lee, the defending national champion here at this weight class. He kept the foot in, they're out. And back to the middle, 48 seconds in the first. As Lee was in control of Mueller, who defeated the number four seed, Ronnie Bresser of Oregon State in the quarterfinals. And then the number five seed, he took out the number one seed, Sebastian Rivera of Northwestern, eight to two. So he tries to become Virginia's first national champion. They've had finalists before, going all the way back to 1957, Henry Jordan at heavyweight. Their coach, Steve Carlin, 125 in 2000. And most recently, a couple years ago in St. Louis, George D. Camillo, the 141 pounder. You see right there, Mueller didn't take advantage of that fresh start. As soon as the ref blew the whistle, he kind of dropped down to his forearms against a guy like Spencer Lee, who you know is tough on top, who's going to work the head lever. You got to get up to your feet. You got to seal off that left side. Don't allow him to return you down to the mat. Mueller didn't take advantage of that fresh start there. And the warning on stalling for Mueller. Mueller's in a different spot than he was last night when he dominated the number one seed, Rivera, with the takedown in the first five seconds of the match and rode him out. This is big for Lee if he can turn him and get a big lead before the end of the period. And he does not. Time ran out. He looks over toward his corner, hey, Green, lock in and me. he wants bottom to start the second. And, I, and I'm surprised. He has a lead. He, he, he looks it's real uh, good on top there, but this is where Mueller wants to be, and so it's a bold move by the defending national champion, Spencer Lee. That's what Mueller does so well on that left side. He'll hook that leg, sink it through, try to stretch his opponents out there. So far, Spencer Lee's doing a nice job keeping his base. He's got to watch that cradle. I really thought if Lee had the lead after the first period, he would choose neutral when he got his choice. What do you think the thought is on the strategy? Well, Mueller's a hammer on top, and yet he's not a, he, he doesn't turn like Spencer Lee does, and so, uh, He usually puts the leg in, punishes, stays pretty much parallel. 
he leaves down there, he's got to fight those hands, try to peel that lock so he can break the cradle, try to get an escape here. But. Stalemate's the call. Steve Garland, the head coach, was a runner-up himself for Virginia. Back when the season started, Mueller didn't expect not only to be in this match, but to be wrestling throughout the course of the season. So he finished fifth at the under-23 World Games back in November, came back from Romania. Team needed him in the lineup and wrestled against Missouri in late December. Working his way all the way to the final match of the season. Trying what's to take down the defending champ. And what's important for Mueller here is because he, he wants to force his match, but on top, he, he's not, like I said, he doesn't do the arm bars and the tilts like Spencer Lee, but he needs to look busy on top, get the official's attention, and get that stall call on Spencer Lee if he can. But he's got he's to look busy on top. He's not working the same way Spencer Lee does on top. He's just really, really impossible to get away from. Now Lee gets one, it's like an escape there because uh, Jack Mueller dropped down below the hips. They started counting, you can't stay down below the hips until you get uh, for a uh, five count or you'll get warned for stalling. Well, he'd already been warned for stalling, so that's why the one point. It's a situation right there where you have to have that mad awareness. Mueller wasn't aware of the, how much time was left on that clock. He was content just hanging on to that leg. He's gotta know where you're at and build up there. Now here's where he drops down, but this is a matter of what, did the clock run out before the five count happened because he is below the hips. And the challenge brick was thrown from the Virginia corner. The Unlike the first two days. So the call stays. Unlike the first two days of the tournament, the officials do now see the same video that you see at home Thursday and Friday, it was Matt side video only. So Spencer Lee, in effect, the same as an escape, gets one point in that second period where he chose down. Ready. Ready. Didn't get away, but he didn't get turned. Now Jack Mueller chooses neutral. It's his only choice right now. And last night, remember what he did to Rivera? He, he got an early takedown and got him on top real fast and forced his match onto Rivera. Right now, Lee's got it going his way. See, Lee's really paying attention to that left arm of Mueller. That's where he has his nice slide by one of his go-to moves. He's respecting that position, keeping his arm low, not allowing Mueller to get there. Lee dictating the pace there with the tie-ups because Mueller's really good with the front headlock, but it was Lee that's uh, getting the overtie and banging the head. Nice job of Lee staying in the center here, protecting his uh, three-point lead. Fending off the shots from Mueller is Lee of Iowa. Back in his home state, where he was a three-time Pennsylvania state champion before heading off to Iowa City. Miller's making some attempts here at attacks, but he's not transitioning to another attack. You can't just do one thing against Spencer Lee and expect it to work. You gotta tie a couple of attacks together if you hope to get in deep enough to finish. If Lee holds on here, this is as impressive as last year because there were a lot of doubts. Last year, he runs through the field. This year, he gets beat a couple of times, three times. Two by Rivera. He gets pinned by Piccinari. People were doubting him, and here he is, only 25 seconds away from getting his second national title. He's come a long ways, and he's going to put the exclamation on it right here, slipping that arm through in two. Spencer Lee says every day he wakes up, his goal one day is Olympic gold. But his college career off to a pretty darn good start. Back-to-back -back titles for Spencer Lee.
Anthony, what did Spencer Lee do best to separate himself? He controlled the pace of the match. Early on, was getting to his takedowns. He kept Mueller from getting to his positions of offense that he wanted with a hard right on top. Strong match from start to finish by Spencer Lee. He's with Quinn. Spencer, your coach just came up to you. What's the difference this year when it, compared to maybe last year? I went through a lot more adversity this year than last year. It's been a rough year, and it feels great to end it on top. How did you turn those regular season losses into a championship? Just belief. My teammates, they pick me up when I'm down. They pick me up when I'm up, and they're the reason I'm here today. My, my friends, my family, my coaches, and especially my teammates. What's it like to have your family in your corner? It's incredible. I thank the NCAA for allowing my family, my girlfriend, and my uh, old coach to be right there, Matt, so I watch me do what I can do. Thank Congratulations, you. Congratulations, Spencer. Go Hawks.